Welcome to Linux Cell Tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about PyDio. PyDio is an open source, powerful and secure tool for online file sharing as like cloud storage systems. After installing PyDio in our server, we can able to provide some workspace for our clients. Then our clients can be able to use that workspace over a network. Now let's see the installation of PyDio on your server. Here I am using 10.2i7 as my server. Here I am going to set up PyDio for online file sharing. To set up PyDio, we need a web server like Apache or Nginx with PHP extensions. And we need a database like MySQL and MariaDB. Now run the following command to install EPL repository m space install space epl hyphen release in space hyphen y and hit enter now the package is installing wait for some time now the package is installed now run the following command to install the apache web server m space install space httpd space hyphen y and hit enter now the package is installed now run the following command to install the php extensions now hit enter wait for some time now the packages for php extensions is installed now run the following command to open up the ports for apache web server in the firewall now run this command this command will open the http port in the firewall now hit enter and now run this command to open the https port on the firewall now hit enter now reload the firewall firewall hyphen cmd space hyphen hyphen reload and hit enter and now run the following command to install mariadb database on your server type m space install space mariadb space mariadb hyphen server space hyphen y and hit enter now the mariadb package is installing wait for some time now the mariadb package is installed we need to restart the mariadb service so type system ctl space restart space mariadb and hit enter now enable the service system ctl space enable space mariadb and hit enter now run the following command to set up the root password for mariadb mysql underscore secure underscore installation and hit enter now hit enter here set up the new root password press y and hit enter now type your root password for mariadb now here press y for all option and hit enter now the password is set next time i am going to install pydio on my server now run this command hit enter and now run this command to install pydio on your server now hit enter now pydio is installing wait for some time it will ask you for the confirmation press y and hit enter and wait until the installation is completed now pydio installation is completed next we need to enable the pydio access over a web by configuring the ht access file for that run the following command vim space slash r slash lib slash pydio slash public slash dot ht access now hit enter now here we need to create some entry now create entry like this and save the file 
now open the PyDO configuration file which is located here slash etc slash httpd slash conf.d slash pydo.conf and hit enter here instead of this entry we need to change it to the QRL granted for this entry and also this entry now change it now change it like this the QRL granted next we need to edit some parameters in the php.ina file so open the file in space slash etc slash php.ini and hit enter here look for the here look for the following four parameters and change the value now change this value i will give 1g which means 1gb and change this parameter value to 1gb and here set output buffering equal to half and here change the memory limit equal to 1024 MB now save the file now restart the Apache service system CTL space restart space HTTPD and hit enter and enable the service system CTL space enable space HTTPD and hit enter now run the following command echo space dollar symbol LANG this command will show you the character set for your default language this is the character set for your default language now notice and open this file link space slash etc slash video slash bootstrap underscore con of dot php and hit enter here come to the last line here we need to create the following entry now create this entry this is the character set for my default language now save the file to host PyDO web page securely for our clients we need to use the SSL encryption for the PyDO website for that we need to install the following package m space install space mode underscore SSL space hyphen y and hit enter now the SSL package is installed now open this file hit enter here we need to uncomment this line and save the file and then restart the httpd service system ctl space restart space httpd and hit enter now all the thing is configured now we need to open the web browser now open your browser and go to this link to open the PyDO web installer wizard now hit enter now click here and here click add exception and now click here confirm security exception then only we can able to connect to the PyDO web installer here you can see now we have two warnings and we have no error so we can continue the process now click here to continue now we have entered into the PyDO setup wizard now choose your language and click start wizard here create the admin user for PyDO now add the entries and click here global option if you want to set up for email 
you can choose it otherwise you can choose no here we need to mention the database here we need to choose the database and the database user and the password we have not created it yet so let's open the terminal to create the database and database user now type mysql space hyphen u space root space hyphen p and hit enter now enter a root password for mariadb and hit enter now create the database now run this command this command will create the database by do now create the database user run this command this command will create database user by do the user will be have the password 123 now hit enter now run this command this command will grant all privileges for the user by do to the database by do on all the tables this is the password for the user now hit enter now exit and restart the mariadb service system ctl space restart space mariadb and hit enter and now open the browser here database name is video and the username also video and the password for the user now click here to try test connection now the connection is established now click here to add some users here you can here you can create some users now add the user details if you want to add more user you can click here after adding the users click here to install video now it's installing here it shows now we need to copy this content into this file so copy this content and open your terminal now open the file in space slash user slash share slash video slash dot htss and hit enter here come to the last line and paste the copied content here and save the file now open your browser now click reload now we are in the login page for video here we need to give the user credentials to log into the video now type the admin username linux help in my case and the admin password and click here to login now we have logged into video as admin user here you can see your workspace here we can able to create files and directories now click here to create a file or directory you can give the folder name and click here to create a folder called sample to open the folder just double click the folder inside this folder we can able to create some files to create a file click here now click here to create a new empty file here type the file name and click here now the file is created right click here here we can choose source editor to add content to the file and then we can able to save it here we can able to download this file into my hard drive click here to download and click save file and click ok now the file is downloaded to my hard drive and we can able to upload any file from my hard drive 
into the PyDOS workspace. Now click here. Here you can browse for the files to upload. Here you can browse for the file and you can upload the file. Now I choose this file to upload. Here you can see now the file is uploaded. Now click here to go back. Here we can able to share this directory for any user. Here choose share as a workspace. And here we can choose user one. And we can allow full permissions. And click here to share it. Now the folder is shared. Here you can change your workspace. Now we are currently in my files. And here you can choose common files. In this workspace also you can able to create some folders and files. Now click here. So this is how we install PyDO for online file sharing to our clients. Now you can able to start your own PyDO server and share some workspace with your clients. Hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you for watching.